Oh, so much to talk about today in our readings. In Genesis, we have God creating the world in seven days. Please note, I did say seven days. It is seven days because the word seven, Shiva, in Hebrew is almost exactly the same as the word oath, Shiva, in Hebrew. In order to enter into a covenant relationship, a relationship where you give yourself completely, you take an oath. The Latin word for oath is sacramentum what we would call a sacrament. So in baptism, you took and received an oath. In, confirma- in uh, confession, in communion, in confirmation, in marriage, in uh, holy orders, and in the sacrament of the sick, these are all oaths that bring us into the covenant and then strengthen us in the covenant. And so God creates in not six, but in seven days, because he creates with an oath. We are brought into this covenant relationship with God. God gives himself to us, and our response should be that we give ourselves completely back to God. When we see Jesus having a discussion with the Pharisees, he accuses them. Well, they say that his disciples are not following the law. Jesus points out that the Pharisees, who who began as very good people, I think we need to understand this. The Pharisees were a holiness movement. They came out of the Maccabean revolt. And in that time, they called the Jews to come back to to a, a more deep, profound practice of their religion. But after a couple of hundred years, <clears throat> they ended up focusing on minutia of the law. And as a result of that, they didn't realize that the fulfillment of the law and the prophets was right in their midst. And so Jesus calls them hypocrites. He says, you disregard God's commandment. This would have been the Ten Commandments. But cling to human traditions. And the tradition in this case is that you could say, when I die, all of my wealth is dedicated to the temple. If you said that, then you were free from any obligation of taking care of your parents. Well, which command would be more important? Following God's command to take care of your mother and your father, to honor and respect your mother or father, or this human law that allows you to set aside any responsibility? Please note, It was to set aside responsibility for caring for your parents. In our lives, if I come up with some tradition or some part of the law that I want to use to excuse me from following the fullness of God's law, that's a problem. Some Protestants will say, ah, Well, you Catholics speak about tradition, but we follow the law of the Lord. Catholics have sacred tradition with a capital S and and then tradition with, I should say with a capital T, sacred tradition would be with a capital T. Regular tradition is with a small t. Before the scriptures were written, the word of God was passed on verbally. That is sacred tradition with a capital T. Paul uh, commands that people tradition forth. They they pass on not just the, the words, but also what he did and how he lived his life. 
The important thing here is Paul was not saying that to excuse them from following God's authentic law. He was saying that to deepen their participation in this law. And that law is the law of the covenant. It's why we refer to the, the second part of the Bible as the New Testament. It is a testament witnessing the new covenant. It's why when we are at Mass, we, we say that Jesus offers the blood of the, new test, of the new covenant. We are in this covenant relationship with God. And if we monkey around with it to let ourselves off participating in those, in that commandment or this commandment, we are risking our eternal life. That is why Jesus says that they disregard God's commandment in order to uphold their own tradition. God's commandment, right from the start, was that we should take care of the world, that we should be responsible for one another. This is fulfilled in Jesus Christ, who laid down his life for us to bring us into this new covenant. And so in Jesus, our participation in the covenant must be more. We cannot use some small law to excuse us. Very important at a time when many people are not coming to church, not coming to Mass. God doesn't ask everything of us. We offer everything to him. And as a sign of this, God asks that we give him one day a week. And one hour of that is spent at church in Mass. Amen.